Hey guys, welcome back and happy Friday. I've received a bunch of requests lately to touch on some of the big trends happening this fall, so I thought I'd do it in video format, and I'm going to be sharing four outfits highlighting a few of my favorite trends that are happening this season. As always, you can shop everything featured here, if it's available, in the text section below the video, and please, please comment and write feedback and share with your friends so they subscribe because I'm really excited to be doing so many more videos here on YouTube for you guys. So let's get started with look number one. One of the big trends happening this fall is a monochromatic look. And what's great about it is that you can do it by just using things that are already in your closet. Most of these pieces I already owned. I already had this cardigan, I already had this tank, I already had this bag, but I just bought these boots and they kind of go perfectly, don't they? Um, it's just, it's a fun fall look and what's great is you don't have to match exactly and I am such a stickler when it comes to matching. So this shade is a little different from this shade, this shade's a little different from this shade. They're all in the same family, but because they're all a little bit different, it still works. It's not like one is trying to be too matchy with another piece, they're all cohesive. And so this is a great look for day to night. The boots are really comfortable. I just got them and I'm super excited. They are a bit of a splurge, but I love them. And obviously cardigans are a great staple. It's not really a trendy thing. It's just comfort is key. It's great for the office. Um, but yeah, so check out a monochromatic look and try it yourself with your own stuff this fall. One more trend I wanna to touch on in this outfit is the knee-high boot situation. So over the years, the over-the-knee boot has been king. Everyone makes them, everyone buys them. They look great, I, I have them, but I'm not gonna buy any more because I'm noticing that they're sort of on the way out. Um, there are certain brands that are still making them, but a lot of designers are doing different styles now. And one that I've seen a lot this season is the knee-high boot in a couple of different ways, and you'll see one, another pair that I bought later. Um, but what I love about this pair is that you can scrunch them down and make them kind of a slouchy, scrunchy boot, which is a really big trend this season, or you can just leave them clean and be straight like this, and they're just polished and pretty. Um, but if you're in the market for a pair of boots, my suggestion would be to forego the over-the-knee boot and go for something like this. Go for something that just hits to the knee or even just a pretty ankle boot because I do think that the over-the-knee boot trend is a little tired and maybe on its way out. Unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that velvet is a huge trend this season. There's not a single designer, shoe, handbag, or clothes that I can think of that hasn't made a piece in velvet for this fall. It's all over the place. And I already own a couple of velvet items, like a blazer, so that really wasn't on my radar of things I needed to buy this season. But I have been in need of a good little black dress for nights out. And I spotted this beauty, um, I can't even remember where I bought it, but I will link it below for you to shop. But what I love about it is it features kind of a lingerie look up top. It's got a little lace detailing here and at the hem. So it's got kind of a little sexy vibe for a night out. But what I did here was I dressed it down with a trench jacket, which is also a big trend, but also a closet staple for me. I have too many trench coats to count now. Um, but they're all long, and I love how this one is shorter. It's really easy to wear with jeans. I actually shot it for the blog yesterday, so stay tuned next week. I'll be sharing that outfit. It is not the same as this, so you'll get kind of good styling tips that way. Um, but if you're looking for velvet, de definitely think of it as a uh, nighttime piece. I know it's great for daytime. With shoes, I feel like that's great, but I just can't imagine wearing this during the day, and I can't imagine wearing my... Um, velvet blazer during the day unless it was a special occasion. So that's why I thought this would be a great piece to get for fall for a night out. I just thought it was so pretty. It's basic so I can pair it with any kind of jacket. Even in the, in the when it gets colder I can wear it with fur. Um, I just think there will be lots of ways to wear this. You can never go wrong with a little black dress. But the one other trend that I wanted to mention is the ring handbag. I've had this since January but Again, I feel like nearly everyone is doing them now. Um, it's still it's still a huge trend for fall. Um, so I would definitely check out designers like Simon Miller. I'm trying to think of the other ones off the top of my head, but I'll link some other ones below. But this one is Theory, and I got this in January, like I said. But 
There are tons of styles available in bags like this. It's just a fun, modern, different look to add to your outfit. Another big trend happening this season is that of animal prints. And I know what you're thinking, of course, that's big this time of year, but it really is bigger than I've seen it in a while. Um, I've seen so many coats and jackets. I've seen even some velvet tees and pants from Tibby that have an animal print. So freaking cute. And bunch of shoes. So many cute shoes and mules and that kind of thing. Speaking of mules, that's another huge trend for fall. And I am loving this trend. I have so many pairs of mules now. And I don't want to like credit certain people for starting the trend, but Tibby was one of the first shoes that I noticed um, doing mules. And I think it was last fall when she was doing them. Gucci was doing them too. But really this year it's in huge full force. Everybody's making them. You almost see them more than you see regular ballet flats. Um, so I've, I've snagged a few pairs. This one is probably my favorite pair. One, because of the knotted detail. And two, because of the color. And three, because of the price. They're under 100 and you can't beat that. But they're so comfortable. This color goes with pretty much everything in my wardrobe. It's perfect for now because right now I'm still wearing lightweight things. It's super hot in Texas. And so I'm wearing a lot of white still. Um, but as the weather cools down, I'll probably transition to darker neutrals. And it looks great with those too, as you can see. This is obviously not appropriate to wear right now. I'm wearing leather pants and a calf hair coat in September in Texas. No way. But I just thought this was a really cute outfit. It's a great way to dress down this coat. Um, I think this coat is super, super neutral and versatile. That's the thing about animal prints. They sort of go with everything. Um, so definitely get your hands on some animal prints and a pair of mules. So here's the final look, look number four, and it features three different trends I wanna to touch on. One being the statement sleeve. Everyone is still doing those. You can find them everywhere. Um, I love this sweater. It's from last year, but I did see one that almost is identical. So I'll link that below. Um, that is current season. The next trend is the knee high boot thing I mentioned earlier. And I love this pair. I literally got them in the mail today and tried them on before I'd even gotten out of my workout clothes. That's how excited I was. I actually ordered them once from a retailer and they sent the wrong size. And then I went back and they were sold out, but they managed to give me one. So, whoo, that was scary. Uh, but anyway, got them in my size, love them, I'm obsessed, but they've got a little ruffle on them, which is such a fun detail and comes to my third trend in this outfit. Ruffles are my favorite, as you probably noticed if you followed me. So many things that I own have ruffles. I have t-shirts, I have dresses. I don't think I have any handbags, but I wouldn't put it past me. I probably do. And now I have shoes. I have boots with ruffles. It's my favorite. Um, I even had somebody on Instagram comment and said they were going to unfollow me because I wear too many ruffles. Girlfriend, you do you. I love ruffles. They're staying. I hope you guys love this video. Um, it took a little longer than I thought it would putting it together, but I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoy the trends that I'm loving this season. Like I said before, shop everything you see here in the text section below and check back soon for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.